Hey guys, um, so I've been seeing a lot of stuff recently in some of the hiking groups and stuff I belong to online. People asking about hiking shoe recommendations, what brand, so forth. Um, honestly, there's a lot of good brands out there. And you know, when I'm reading those comments, people are talking about stuff like Keen or Solomon or Merrill or Adidas or Loa or so on and so forth. And, and most of those well-known brand names are gonna make great hiking boots. You know, where I see a lot of people go wrong in hiking boots is how they fit them how they break them in. So I'm gonna go over a couple of really key things that you should consider when you're about to buy a pair of hiking boots. So the first thing I wanna talk about when we're fitting a hiking boot is just like how your foot should fit inside of the boot. Like, you know, the length, where your heel should be, where your toe should be, you know, where the ball of your foot should line up. So what we're gonna do is cut in close and uh, I'll show you a little bit about what I'm talking about. All right, so uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is I got the boot laced up, I made uh, unlaced, I made sure to loosen it up really good here all the way down. And uh, what I'm gonna do is just put my foot right in there. So when my foot's in there, that's great and all, but the reason I wanted to make that boot super loose is I wanna actually slide my foot. So I'm pushing down, sliding my foot forward until my toe is against the front of the boot. Um, and this goes for hiking boots, this goes for trail sneakers, you know, trail running sneakers, just about any kind of boot, even like a work boot. Um, you wanna make sure you have room in it. So uh, what I did is I slid my foot all the way forward and now I'm gonna actually stick my two fingers down and I should be able to do that and have just a little bit of wiggle room. So what that tells me is once I pull my heel back and snug up the boots, I'll have enough space in the front that when I'm out on the trail, if I bump any rocks, if as my feet swell, etc., I'm not ever gonna be rubbing up against the front of the boot. That's a recipe for um, discomfort, losing toenails, all kinds of problems. So um, that's, that's one thing I wanna check, that check where I slide my foot all the way forward and then be able to put a couple fingers back behind. I don't wanna have to jam them in there. I just wanna be able to uh, easily fit like a couple of fingers, about a half inch of space. Okay, so another thing, if you can't do the, uh, or don't wanna do the test where you slide your foot all the way forward and put your fingers back, or if you're not sure, there's a really easy other way to check and make sure you have enough space uh, for your toes in front of the shoe. So I'm just gonna slip it off, and most reputable hiking boots and shoes do have a removable insole. So I'm gonna just take that out, put it right on the ground. I'm gonna line my heel up so that my heel is kinda like where it would rest when it's actually in the shoe. And then I'm actually gonna stand up. Right now I'm sitting, but when I stand up, my toe is actually gonna come forward just a little bit, maybe like, you know, an eighth of an inch, not even. But now what I'm looking for is that I have this about a thumb width worth of space in front. So that is, you know, somewhere between a half inch, three quarters of an inch. If my toe is all the way up here, that's a really bad fit for a hiking shoe. I'm gonna have tons of problems when I'm out on the trail with that. If my toe is like way back here, you know, I might run into issues where the shoe is too sloppy or I'm tripping over stuff. So what we're really looking for is that sweet spot, you know, between a half an inch, no more than three quarters of an inch, definitely no less than a quarter of an inch. This is kind of cutting it close right here. But um, yeah, that's another way. Pull that insole out and stand up on it and see where your toes line up. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do, I got the insole back in the shoe. Um, I made sure it's smoothed out. You know, it's not bunched up in there. Have everything loosened up. I'm gonna go ahead and put the shoe on. And this time I'm gonna make sure my heel's against the back. I just gave a little tap there. And I'm gonna start snugging up the boot. So I'm gonna start down here lower on the laces, pull, work my way up, pull again, pull one more time. And then I'm just gonna crisscross. These only have one hook that I have to deal with. Um, I got it hooked. I'm gonna pull again. This is a brand new pair of boots, so not everything's gonna to be totally perfect. You can see the tongue is bulging a little here. I'll straighten that out, but it doesn't need to be perfect. That's part of the break-in. Um, and then I'm just gonna snug them up pretty good. So I wanna make sure that uh, I have the boots on pretty snug, not like ultra tight, but it's okay to snug them up. You wanna make sure that your foot's not gonna slide around in there. Um, a brand new pair of boots, when they're tightened up like this, aren't gonna be perfectly comfortable everywhere. Like right now I can tell you, I'm feeling a little teensy bit of pressure in here, but from my experience, that's not gonna be a problem as they break in. So I have the boot on, I have it laced up. Next thing I'm gonna do is uh, put the other one on and I'm gonna walk around in them a little bit. All right, so I've got the boots laced up, um, left and right, both snugged up, everything feels like it's in place. 
Now I'm gonna take a couple steps, walk around a little bit, and uh, I'll talk about some of the things you should be looking for when you're walking in the shoes. Um, so I'm gonna walk around in them, and what I'm looking for is to make sure that my heels are uh, seated nicely in the boot. It should be a little bit snug up towards the uh, ball of the foot area, and I shouldn't have too much slop or shifting around in there, but I should have room for my toe. So what I'm gonna do right here is I'm just gonna stop, kind of tap my toe forward gently. Um, I wanna make sure I'm not immediately ramming up against the front of the boot. I wanna feel that there's a little bit of space there, that the instep area is catching my foot. Again, if I haven't laced up properly, it should, and it's the right size, it should. Um, but these feel pretty good. So now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pull them off. All right, so one more thing before I take these uh, boots off, I wanna point out. Um, when I have these on, I wanna make sure that the widest part of my foot, which is the ball of my foot, more or less lines up with the widest part of the shoe. So if you see like where your foot flexes, that's the ball of your foot, kind of where your toes meet the rest of your foot, and that should line up with the widest part of the shoe. A lot of people complain that, you know, shoes are too tight or something like that. Half the time, it's because they are not getting the shoes to line up properly. Their arch length, which is like the heel to the ball of the foot, might be a longer measurement than their heel to toe size. So sometimes you need to compromise and get a little bit more room in front if it means getting that to line up right there at the ball of the foot. You can also see here, uh, I'm pressing over the edge just a little bit on the outside edge. That's okay, you know, that's not, that doesn't mean this shoe is not wide enough for me. Um, as long as it feels snug, but not like super tight, this is all gonna break in. So that's just a break in issue. Again, new pair of shoes, the number one thing we see besides, you know, somebody saying that uh, they just overall hurt their feet and it turns out the shoe is a size too small is People don't break them in, they go out right on, on the trail, go like, you know, several miles in them before they give them a chance to break in. So two things, ball of the foot, you know, that, that little snugness out here, this is okay. This, you wanna make sure it lines up correctly, even if it means getting a little bit more room in between your toe and the front of the boot, as long as everything else is secure. Um, all right, so some parting thoughts on uh, fitting some hiking shoes. So I deliberately didn't really talk about the brand here. Um, these happen to be Solomon's, but I don't want people to get hung up that you need a certain brand. Solomon's a great brand. Vasque's a great brand. Merrill's a great brand. I mean, these are just really popular ones I'm listing off the top of my head. But the most important thing, more than brand, more than if you're getting like, you know, a mid height or a low height, is the fit you have. So the fit is super, super important. And that's why we want to do this video about how a boot should fit. Um, a couple little things that I'd like to mention that make the overall experience in the shoe better that you can go kind of in addition to the fit. Um, one is the stock insole that comes with most shoes isn't really much to write home about. You'll see some manufacturers talking about how they have this fancy foam or support system or whatever, but at the end of the day, you know, that stock insole is a one size fits all product. It's designed so that if I put the shoes on, if you put the shoes on, anybody puts the shoes on, it's going to be kind of like inoffensive. It'll feel good in the store. What I really like to do is throw in for me, um, a pair of super feet insoles work well, but um, there's a lot of brands out there that make uh, more rigid arch support. It's just, it's gonna have to fit your foot. It won't fit everybody's foot. So like with the super feet, for example, um, I do really well with the green, um, which is one of the more popular ones, but there's like a bunch of different fit profiles. Um, so the insole is a big thing if you're gonna do a lot of, put a lot of miles on in your boots. I recommend swapping that factory one out and getting something aftermarket that's a little bit more supportive. The other big thing um, that I didn't talk about, but you might have seen it in some of the clip, uh, I'm wearing a pair of merino wool socks. Um, so that is a big deal. Uh, he's zooming in right now on my socks. Uh, these are from Darn Tough, but like again, not the only brand out there. They're just one of the popular ones. So uh, a lot of people will go out and you might get blisters, you might get hot spots, whatever. Half the time it could be the boots, but there's also a percentage of the time that that could be just you're wearing the wrong socks. Like you take your regular, you know, big store uh, value pack of cotton socks and try and go out all day in those or let alone for several days of hiking, they're gonna wreak havoc on your feet. So there's an old saying, I think it was Boy Scouts or military cotton is rotten. Well, that is totally true with socks. Do yourself a favor, get a good pair of merino wool socks. If you're gonna invest in a good pair of hiking boots, you know, it's a small additional investment to make in a good pair of socks. So um, that's it for, for, you know, fitting a pair of hiking boots again. They're not gonna be comfortable the first mile you put on the trail. So wear them to the grocery store, wear them running errands, you know, just a couple hours a week until they're good and broken in. You can start putting more miles on them 
I definitely wouldn't do anything like, you know, a, a three or four or five day backpacking trip in a new pair of hiking boots with at least putting, you know, maybe 10, 15, 20 miles on them beforehand incrementally. So I uh, hope that helps. Hope you guys know a little bit more about fitting hiking shoes um, and making sure you get a good set. Uh, feel free to ask us if you have any questions. Thanks.